same school. And that is the key. Was he a senior? No, always let me talk. He was, yes, he was, uh, you were a class above me or two classes? Oh, I was well above you, my no, friend. No, <laughs> I was just a class above you, I thought. <laughs> One class, yeah, yeah. I don't remember, so long ago. It was a long yeah, we were time. Rolling, so anytime you're ready. Okay. okay, I'm ready. So welcome to San Francisco. Thank, Thank you for having us. I love happy it here. place. Very happy place. Yeah, this is amazing. I found my happy place. San Francisco. <laughs> really, not LA. I love it. The weather is amazing, man. Yeah. By the way, it depends with what time of the year you come here. Yeah. You know, so uh, I saw the film, and the gentleman behind me was laughing away. And after the film, he said he really enjoyed it. <laughs> so that's tribute to you. Because, Great. Uh, did you enjoy it? I did because okay. you know I went and uh, watched it in between all these. Um, political debates that are going on, so yeah. you went to a happy place. Yes, yeah, that's, <laughs> yes. that's the idea. I mean, we really wanted to make a film that made you feel good, especially in these kind of trying times. Yeah, and everything on the news, uh, not just for kids, but for adults, is really dark and depressing, and the yeah. internet is so judgmental. So we yeah. wanted to just do something that would give people a break. Not that the, the film doesn't have, you know, ask some real questions, like where does happiness come from, and it really addresses the power of optimism, so it's got some real richness to it as well. Relentlessly happy is a phrase that comes to mind. <laughs> relentlessly happy. I'm with you on that one. I yeah. like that, yeah. Are it you guys relentlessly stuff. happy in, it is in real life? To, <laughs> crank to 11, happy. Yeah, I Here's definitely the truth. Am. This guy's yeah. super happy guy, like Poppy, our lead character. Oh, like the yes. cloud? Cloud but, yeah, guy? Yeah, he, he also plays the cloud guy. I'm not so happy. I'm a little cup half full. I'm more of a branch character. I'm more of a Justin Timberlake. So who came up with the cupcake uh, concept? The cupcake, oh. pooping cupcakes. Pooping cupcakes. That was you and I together. We came yes. up with pooping cupcakes. Yes, it's yeah. a classic thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not afraid of those jokes. I mean, we, lo we love those jokes. You know, kids do and parents do. I call it the great equalizer. You know, like, <laughs> no matter who you are, whether you're the president, you know. Everybody or, uh, poops. Everybody poops. <laughs> not necessarily cupcakes. No, and that's the twist. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, fun, the fun bit. Okay, so wh what is it like to make an animation film compared to a film that has real human beings? Yes. What are the challenges that you have when you make this kind of a film? Well, you've made both. I have done both. I yes. love both films. I like the combo of both films, but here's the difference. In, in live action, usually it goes, you work on the script until that's done, and then you cast your movie, and then you're shooting the script, and then that's done, and then you're editing it, music, sound effects, mixing it, and done. In animation, you're doing all that at the same time. We're writing it as we're casting it, as we're still working on the story, and it's really more like workshopping a play. And it takes a long time to do because we're just constantly working and improving and making the film. And I think that that line is being blurred a lot more today than it used to. You know, we're animation and live action. You know, live action is using a lot of animation. So I don't. I think it's really just about telling amazing stories with great characters. Regardless. So how do you work though? Because in a movie you have a script. I'm talking with live people. You yeah. have a script. They act it out and live everything. Action. Live action. But in an animation, do you create the storyline first and then you bring in the actors to do the voices? Well, That's you're similar. constantly working on the story. Yeah. You bring in the actors and then we go into the recording booth with the actor and we direct their voice yeah, performance. Yeah, they have a script. I mean, they're they're acting it out and we're acting it out with them. So that's one of the areas where you direct, that is you're in the yes, booth with them. Yes, two directions and then later with the animators we're directing them again of the movement of the characters. So yeah. it's almost like directing the actor and then there's a second directing of uh, the yeah. movement with right. the animators. Hmm. So the film you channeled a lot of the 1970s uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> feeling, you know, yeah. the only word that was missing was groovy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right, we you're right, put that in there <laughs> for next time. And maybe, uh, you know, the folks Volkswagen van. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But other than that, so when was the first time both of you had uh, acquired a troll, you know, those dolls? It was in the 70s, in the and 70s, we remember uh, playing on our shag carpet with these Right, because we were dolls. children. We grew up in the 70s, so it's part of, of who we are. And we wanted to infuse some of that, especially because now kids don't really know these things from the 70s. Yeah, the 70s is a fairy tale world. <laughs> yeah. Like it's the, a phone with a cord on it. What, what is that? That's crazy. Yeah. That never happened. And so it's not. And and so children don't remember the 70s. Some adults don't remember the 70s for other reasons. Oh. I think who knows. <laughs> But um, it was a crazy it, time. It was a very strange, wonderful time. So. But it also looked like a time where monsters would live. <laughs> <laughs> so, sure. so for trolls, you created the whole universe. You know, you, like you like to say, it was on a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. You created this whole world. What was the challenge of creating this world for you? 
Well, the challenge was we, we wanted it to be very colorful. And that it is. Yes. yes. And then we wanted to try something new. We wanted to use the technology. The CGI technology is so sophisticated that these films make things look very realistic with their textures and, and, and patterns and whatnot. So we took that technology and we wanted to make everything fuzzy and made of felt and look handmade carpeted floors and like... Yeah, again, handcrafted. Hand, we wanted things to look very handcrafted and that, and that turned out to be uh, a challenge, but it was a really fascinating yeah, there's fun one. Anything that our team of artists and technicians couldn't pull off. You know, we'd have these crazy ideas and they're like, <laughs> we can do it. You know, there was nothing that would stop them. It turned out the one challenge, we thought it would be hair, because that's their superpower. These trolls can grow their hair any length and change the color of their hair. Yeah. We thought it would be hair. It turned out that the technical challenge... Glitter. Glitter. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. The computer could glitter. not figure out glitter. And they asked us, they're like, do we have to have glitter in this film? And Walt and I were like, there must be glitter. You don't understand <laughs> our vision. <laughs> There's not a film without glitter. That's the, that's the heart of the story. My final question is a local question. You're from Sebastopol. I'm from Mike's Sebastopol. You're from Sebastopol. Yeah. Oh, you're from uh, uh, Oklahoma. I'm from Ohio, California. Yeah. Oh, you're from Ohio. Kind of, you have family that live in. Uh, yeah, I thought you had family that live and you I, went to SF I have, State. Uh, in, I have in-laws that live in Sebastopol. Okay. Yeah. And is it true that a lot of the discussion for the film happened in Sebastopol? Quite Absolutely. a bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, our uh, one of our writers is from Sebastopol. So did he eat a lot of apples? Loads of apples. Yeah. We're we're apples. He ate so many. He has a whole apple. What's Orchard. it called? Yeah. 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 So Fresh we, apples. Yeah, we almost uh, named Troll Village Sebastopol. Troll. Yeah. But, uh, really? We didn't. Yeah. We didn't. We okay. Not to. So there's a lot of local connection in terms of the conceiving of the project. Yeah, right? it was. A, it was. A, it was a lot of the. Um, a lot of the story uh, work was done in Sebastopol. Yeah, one of the writers lives in Sebastopol. So we'd come up here for a retreat at your house mm -hmm. and just for three days just lock ourselves in a room with the writers and the producer and craft the whole story. Every once in a while we'd go outside to pet a llama and then go back <laughs> inside. And eat an apple. And okay. eat an apple. Favorite song, favorite song. That's a tough one. Go yeah. for it. You go first. Well, you know, I always say, oh, there's so many, but Can't Stop the Feeling, it was so great. So great. I have to say Can't Stop the Feeling either because yeah. that's such an important song and it turned out to be embraced by everyone. I'm so lucky that it was written for our film. Like, Justin Timberlake is, uh, he's yeah. a magician, that and guy. listening to it makes you feel happy, happy. much like yeah. watching the film. Domarigato gozaimashita. Ah, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank so you. nice to meet you.